something there. You don't know it's Christmas. I'm just filming this. As you know, boys and girls, I've not been down all week because I've been sulking. So I'm down now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be sulking. I've been working hard. And uh, so anyway, yeah, so I've just checked on the plants up in the uh, poly greenhouse up at the top. And there's only two in now. There's only two chilies in there. And uh, that is a red hot Thai dragon. And it's gone bang. It's gone massive. It's about four foot tall. <laughs> uh, so... With the assistance of Mick, we just took it down off this bench at the side here and put it down on the floor because it was getting um, it was getting to hit the top of the roof there and it was causing all kinds of problems for it. But there's a big red one right in the middle of it. Somewhere in the in middle of George of the Jungle here. There, there. there it is. That, they'll all turn out like that. It's full of them. There must be 100 on there. It's got to be. Um, but we're trying to rescue it from itself here by making it so it's not going to fall over in this bottom uh, oh, yeah. this bottom bit strong as he can be <laughs> now Mick, Mick, he's going to live in there for the next couple of months <laughs> just while they come on <laughs> yeah that's moving out the way isn't it it's a bit of concrete on the floor there. and uh, there's another one there there's another one there's a, it's a jalapeno that one I'm not sure no, well, these are the only two that I've got left in. Is it? Is it? Oh, you're right, though. It is. A jalapeno. Jalapeno. Must be hot. That's what we've got. So, yeah, I've just come down there and uh, just going to be doing a bit of picking and whatnot today. But that's coming on as well. But that one there, that's a hot Thai dragon. It's massive. Loads on. My sweet potato's gone bang as well. Look at that sweet potato. That's outgrowing its house, that. That's gone well big. Yeah, it's rooting in there, I see. It's rooting in. So we're hoping the root, the root system underground is producing nice fat tubers for us, though. Everything has just gone massive in the space of about five days. It's like Mick says, if you watch it, they don't grow. If you leave them for five minutes, they're... Slow growing, these ones. They're monstrous. Oh, yeah, I think that's what's oh, needed with these because you've got to keep the heat in, haven't you? Yeah, the sweet potatoes. Two more sticks on for the floss all that time. That was the idea originally putting, you know, these at the back here, Paul? Yeah. These sticks at the back and then we can cover it up, keep that warmth in. So, yeah, I'll just pause it there for a sec. If anybody's any ideas what these are, yeah, then they'll have to let us know. He puts his own finger. What, the uh, solar panels? We're just discussing the great solar panel debate about getting power up to the Tiki hut and getting power on the yin yang and what we're going to do with it. Because Mick's getting a lucky edge trimmer and stuff like that down, so if we can run that off it, that'll be good. And I don't see any reason why we can't because it will help a fair bit of bant when it's stored in them batteries. <laughs> we can. Um, we can bring it up to uh, 240, 110, whatever you want to do. Uh, look at this here, well, this is just a pier overnight, this, we don't know what it is. Oh. It's massive, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the king. I think it's the winner, that, mate. Well, that's that space hopper from last time, mate. I turned it over, that's why it's all dented, that was on that side. Then what's been to it, see that? Yeah, them wires. It's been sucking out really the weight of it. So I turned it over yesterday, I thought I'd snapped it off with it and snapped that off. <laughs> it's got a bit, oh, I don't know. Jesus. It's as big as you, that. <laughs> it's as big as you, that. <laughs> it's really like that. Mick laid that egg in, uh, <laughs> when was it, June? Stay there. Stay there, it's, uh, but out of the three, that is definitely the king of a minute. That's the biggest one, isn't it, that one? Yes. And that we're uh, hoping is going to be in the, the, the big uh, the big veg that. contest. And I think they're Atlantic, them, aren't they? Atlantic pumpkins Atlantic or something. Giant. Atlantic giant pumpkin. Yeah, nice, mate. I think they're all right. It's that white lamb there. A bit of buggy. See it around the river. And they are going more orange now as they're getting older, aren't they? They were yellow, weren't they? They were white and then they turned yellow. This one's on. And now they're the orange. It's, uh, 
Yeah, that one's already got a face, that one. Yeah. One eyed Jack. Bradley, let alone that. That'll do for our Bradley, looks like our Bradley. Yeah. One eyed Jack. That one's coming out right now. I don't think it gets as much sun here, this one. Keep turning it. And it changes. We have had a lot of rain of late. This last week's been very damp. And we've got a big downpour today. Which is good because it's meant, it's meant that we've not been able to come up to the plots. I've not needed to come up and water as much. And, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that, Babby's yet. <laughs> That's a crumper. And now they don't do the big veg, do they, for beetroot? No, no. We found out. That was a waste of time. Because they go woody. But that would have been a contender, that one, I think. You could probably make a, a Halloween face out of that, couldn't you? Like you used to do with turnips when we were kids. Yeah. This is one I What is that? Do you know what that stuff is, Mick? That sort of... Four leaf, four, not clover, is it? Yeah. Won't be clover, will it? No, I guess a pink flower on that one there. See that pink flower? Yeah. Get some uh, pink flowers on about that big. Can't remember, mate. Answers in the comments below. Because it looks quite cool and cute. I'm thinking about putting that actually in them bag beds that come to mind. Yeah. So, it stays like that all year, I think. Um, yeah, I think that, that stays on all year. In the new beds? Yeah, but it'll spread. Um, aubergine coming back on there. We've got five off them altogether. Five aubergines, and that's another one that's coming through and getting bigger. Not sure whether they'll uh, flower up and produce more fruit outside here because we've had a quite damp week or two since they went outside, but you never know. Oh, oh, it's going. Oh, no, I keep bending over that. That's that chiller. I'm just throwing in here. Just do you need some more canes? I've got to bring some canes there. No, I don't even need the chilli plant. I've got some chilli. Yeah, well, I don't know when these You'll are. You'll have a bum like a dragon's nostril with all them chillies. Them's the melons, aren't they? That has red flesh. And this one has green flesh. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's the organ, isn't it? Organ. Yeah, it's when it goes yellow, I think. So it's an organ melon. Yeah, the colour that's happening off something's happening. Never seen an organ melon before, I don't think. You have now. But now we have. There you go. Every day's a school day. Now I know the look. There's the grapes. Black grape. Yeah, that's coming on. That's going. Sean Ryder. Bring it to you. He's spreading its wings, isn't it? It's coming. It's that's grown quite a bit since last time. This one has this side. On that side, yeah. And then we've got two sections. And that's the kiwi and sit in the corner. Clean this up a bit and look at all these tomatoes on it. Plum. Look at that. On there. Let's hope yeah, we get yeah. some sun to redden them off. Yeah. We are due a bit of sun next week apparently, aren't we? Good. All these should redden off then. Monday onwards. Oh, got a red one. Oh, it's just a rotten one. Oh, well there you go. <laughs> that's what they look like. Well, that's what look like on the video. <laughs> <laughs> Slugs love them, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, it's kept them off everything else, isn't it? It has. Well, there is some good ones on. You leak in the middle of them. There's There's one. Yeah, they're all nestling in there, aren't they? Growing in the ground. Just want me to some light in Some light. Some yeah, get off. some more light in here. You've got a good clear out of here, actually, haven't you? Three night to the uh, look nettled a bit. Done this, done that bed off. Might be over there and I've seen in that one now, just half done that one. Yeah. We've just been talking, me and Mick, about the growing part of it. We're going to get some winter beds in, but the majority of the beds and that, we're going to be clearing them out and preparing them and keeping them uh, for next year. Making other plans for next year. So yeah. what's going where and what we're doing. Just see how we can lose it, man. Yeah, well, while, while Mitt's getting the canes, I'll just show you here the um, basket of fire. It's exactly like it is. It's looking exactly like it, um, like it should. The basket of fire. Beautiful. Absolutely stu superb. That. Really nice looking um, plant. 
These have, um, have got the scarring on the side of them where they've been rubbing against the other plants when they were a bit too close together. And uh, that's what we've, what we've been getting, or what, what Mick's been getting. But it's not on them all, it's only on a couple where they've been touching the other fruits. But well, if you look at them, they're lovely, aren't they? Sorry. But you said you gave me them, uh, oh, was it Italian yellow pear? Yeah. So not the plum, right? These are plum. The plum. Italian plum. So that's the, that's the one. Right. Yeah. Looks like a... <laughs> it's like them, you never know what you're going to get after, Sam, with these ones, yeah, do you? Well, that's what they are, them yellow ones that you give me. Because I put them all in here. Four of them. So there's Italian yeah. plum now. Italian, Bum's so. gone as well, hasn't it, that one? Blossom end rock, we've been plagued the, by it. That one in the polytunnel. Yeah, plum. and that's a plum one as well. Yeah. So yeah, all the uh, all the chilies, there's a, there's a mix of jalapenos here. Yeah. Eh? Well, no, these aren't, oh yeah, them chilies. These are the jalapenos yeah. and them's the, uh, well, man, that's your Thai dragon, that's mixed Thai dragon, this one. Yeah, that'll load off today, I can all that something to some of them as well. And the hot Shakira. Yeah, they've got the one red now. Hello, 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 hello. So I'm coming to the end now, to be a... Yeah. I'll have to ask Alan about it, Alan Titchmarsh, when I see him. Yeah, that's not Italian pear. <laughs> mixed in there, I think. I've had to reframe Alan, because I broke his frame. I dropped him and broke his frame. Yeah. Oh, yeah? You weren't pleased. You weren't best pleased, though. How could you tell? He's always got a fruit. I know, he's always sulking, eh? Yeah. Here, we've got the kiss suit on, eh? It's because Charlie Dimmock kept refusing him, that Mick. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's because Charlie Dimmock kept refusing him, innit? And Tommy was starting to knock him out. <laughs> hey, look at that size! That's what I said, look at that. Look at that. That has come on the, uh, monstrously in the last couple of weeks. Oh, it's got dingy too, so I think it has not. Yeah. Well, that's got a thing, yeah. It's going to uh, turn 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 black in the end. Well, that's the biggest one. biggest sweet car. Biggest two. Because that's home, we'll just give them like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's nearly. I bet that's knocking on for twenty inches at least, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's going to be up to the top. Uh, yeah, it's a fur old sweet corn, man. It is the daddy of the sweet corn, that. Sure, and that's that another. Something. When you look at that one, actually, that's a bit lower down. That's longer. Yeah. Not, it's not got the girth though, no, mate. No, no, uh, you that one. That's fancy. That's yeah. I'm going to get away with that one with the young yes. Timmy's mates. There's another one. <coughs> yeah. Well, that'll not come to note, that I don't think. But, yeah. but these ones, I mean, that's that's got the girth, and the, I and the, need a stake the heft that. and the... There's all the rest, isn't it? They plant them in a field, they plant them against each other, so they've got snap, haven't they? And then, there's something I need, in fact, I'll put a in that. Looking pretty. We don't tend to come down this end, do we? This is, uh, I think he's got some more Swede in there, hasn't he? What's, yeah, there's, there's the Swede, some more Swede in there. Lots of, uh, lots of Swedes and parsnips. Is it parsnip in there, mate? Yeah, yeah. I think I pulled one out today. Because they're looking big. Yeah, for them winds that we're expecting. It's supposed to be very cold tomorrow, apparently. For a change. That tomato plant's always drunk. The parsnips are, you know what I mean? They are, they are. But the parsnips are, so I reckon they're edible then. Each one of them, of course they are. Because that's just like a parsnip, that. They're only deformed, aren't they? That's all. We're not going to knock them for that, are we? Christmas dinner, with a couple of them on my plate. Leave them in then for Get them dried off, chuck them in with some play sand. Well, next year I'll put them, I'll put a deep bed with sand and that in. And then just, uh, so they go straight down in one. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to have a go at carrots next year, proper. A nice deep bed of soil, don't you? That's uh, loose soil, no stones at all in it, well sieved. That's not, oh, that's not so clever, that's it for a baby one, that one. It's got three bums. Yeah. Very nice. A triple bummer. Well, it's not going on Christmas dinner. Nope. It's about that, isn't it? It is. 
That's the biggest of volleyball mm. size. But yeah, it's all looking good. I'm going to show you these beans down here. So we've got dwarf French beans on this side. And we've got the runner beans up top. Now, the runner beans are looking quite cheeky. Do you remember when me and the farmer put these in, the little farmer put these in, the beds? We created the beds about two months ago. So these have actually only been in six weeks, something like that. Oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> I miss him! I miss him! That from over there. <laughs> Look at that! That's got to be a 12, uh, I don't know, it's 12, it's like 14, some 14 inch long. It's like right? some Zulu sword. It's not even right, yeah. That's going to be a... Uh, the meal in itself, I think. And hopefully all these flowers will, will, will keep coming, won't they? I mean, we're going to start taking some of these off. These are the dwarf French beans on this side, and these are ready now, because we've just spotted a few of these. In amongst the undergrowth. Yeah, there's loads in there. Yeah, there's loads coming off. If you look at that, yeah. there's a pretty good crop, and that's off probably one plant, that. If you look inside there, there's loads, mate, let me see. Yeah, so today I was eating about in there. Is there anything in that, uh, yeah, he was doing his there, David yeah. Bellamy. Oh, oh, there. That was a bit gone anyway, that one, sit where it was touching the string. Because yeah, I, strang, I strang these up. The only thing you didn't see when we were putting these in is putting the strings across. So we saw the crisscross, did a mesh of string so they could climb up that string, and it's done really well. Yeah, beans are in there. Yeah. Nice little beans. Yeah, you should eat them like a snappy, sweet. Quite sweet, they are quite sweet anyway then. Something like a snap. All about these. It's gonna end up like a beam around these. Aren't they? <laughs> I can't believe that way. That's 20 inches long that. Is it? Well that's a, a, a foot a foot will be that's longer than a foot, easy, that's easily longer. That's a, perhaps not 20 inches, but it's a good 18 inches that. So Yeah, let me get me no. <laughs> Measure it against it. Uh but yeah, look, it's just a massive growth. That could have been at least eight feet high, that. I mean, if you look at that, where it's climbing up the... Uh, yeah, well, each, each side is, I think, about ten. But that's not, that's not ten individual plants, though. There's about three in each pot when I potted them in. Less next year. <laughs> Less next year. <laughs> Although I don't know, if we get a bumper crop of them, you can always freeze these, can't you? Are you supplying sales? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping them going. Okay. Egon Roni, I'm supplying with these. It's very good quality. Yeah. Organically prepared and grown. Grown up, I say. Yeah, they're they're starting. That must be. Grown up like a van. Yeah, all wrapped round there, can you see? Yeah. Well, that's all climbed up, those. Uh, those cans that we put in. The only one that's not really made it is the um, early one. That early one. This one me. Yeah. But I think I'd left it in too long. I think I'd um, it doesn't climb left it pot bound too it's long. Another, it's a dwarf friend, so it shouldn't go up at all. I found that out. Yeah, because all these are tumbling out. Don't, don't grow up at all. Uh, the other one's dead. Oh, that's that one of that. Yeah, these are running. All these ones are runners. They're red. Doing well up the pole, but them's doing better off the pole, aren't they? Because yeah. they're dwarf French. Well, they're dwarf French as well. These early ones, so they shouldn't be off the pole. Do they? I know I put them off the pole because I didn't want. Because when we prepared these beds, it was basically it was half and half. It was compost and it was topsoil, and into that compost and topsoil, we put um, bloodfish and bone, and we put about not, oh god, these quite are. a bit, a kilo per they're four foot. Them. These are come through, so yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's that one that he's died off. That, that that's the um, one. early one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the early dwarf French. It died off. Yeah. Poor little buggy. I got one bean pot off it. Yeah, a few more off them, I think. Whereas Mick, you've done well with your bean, your dwarf early ones. Yeah, that's one of them. Still got some in there. Yeah, they did all right, them, didn't they? They, they did fine and dandy. So yeah, we're both going to be weeding this week. Yes, this one I can cover this up tomorrow. This is done now. I'll scrub them down. Yeah, all them spuds. Both sides, so I'm going to let these go in them bins. Next year, what I want to do is a spud comparison, growing them in big buckets or growing them in soil. Because Tony O'Neill at UK, here we grow. 
my welch friend he's done one and you get half as many again or he's had half as many again out at buckets get some good results out of it so we'll have a go at it we'll see i, I might do it on on that side and we'll grow mink around on this or whatever you want whatever you want to do because i was thinking about getting spuds in this bit here yeah. you know yeah oh no there was a yeah most spuds of the southern uh, strawberries and chitweed. <laughs> yeah. There's plenty of that. Oh, what, what, we just gone massive. Last week it weren't there, that you know. At that top end, there was none of that weed there. Some uh, creeping uh, bind weed. There was none of that there last week. I've got a load down in water, but I know that'll just pull out in one piece. Yeah. Compost heaps are getting full. Well, they're not because I need them to take it off. You've got a monkey to it. Yeah. yeah, we can sort that out this week. Yeah, they're bursting a bit there, aren't they? You can't get them in there, I know. Defenders, you're trying to get them in, so I'm just going to take them. We're going to be taking some pears and, and apples as well. Ah, Bradley loves purrs, and I did. He gave us about five or six a couple of weeks ago, and it took about ten days. And after ten days, they were proper soft and well, sweet. Yeah, they yeah, you've got to let them. They're right off the tree first. Yeah, they're all conference, aren't they? Let me see if I can get that. <laughs> a little bit taller. Oh, come here, little monkey. Yeah, I'll get it. There you are. Now that's a good size purr, that. It's an handful of a pearl, that. Huh? Scrumpy. Yeah, some grumpy on there now, isn't it? We're back on uh, on Terry's plot as, again, as you can see. See? <laughs> yeah. We're not really. <laughs> you're, off, you're off again. I know. Oh, I'll be off if I carry on, won't I? <laughs> um, there's a nice one there, mate. Yeah. Where? In the middle, hint it there. This? Yeah. It's not EU regulation, obviously, but uh, it didn't look too bad. <sighs> Them, but they're doing well, these pear trees, aren't they? You probably, you bet you've had 100 pears on here. Yeah, there's always loads on here. Yeah. So our Bradley will get his choppers around then. Yeah, and the apples are, the, are there as well, the apples have come nice. Yeah, they're, nice. they're all alright, they're not, and the bugs have not got to these by the look of it. Well, They've left them alone, which is always good. Yeah. Somebody been reported for pinching birds up there on that first plot. Is it? Oh, the one, yeah, the one that's just been uh, taken on. Yeah, there are loads of birds on it, to be fair. It's not me, though. Yeah. It's not me. Yeah. I will guarantee you it is not me. It's probably the same person that nicked my six. <laughs> Lost one. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Nice apple, that? Yeah. They're not bad at all. <coughs> oh, Shanna. A proper green grosser. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All the fruits are coming nice now, aren't they? Oh, All no, the plums they have gone. Yeah, these little nice apples. I thought there was pink lady, but they're not. No, I yeah, think they're they're the, they look like, like the cops. same ones that I've got up at the top there, mate. Is it a cock or something? No. Um, <laughs> no. no, it's just it's a different name altogether. Because I took a few off the other day. I think I've only got about three or four left on, to the truth now, mate. But in fact, let's go and have a look, boys and girls, see what's what with them. Uh, with our apples at the top. We're out what they call these. Laxton's Superb. Laxton's Superb. I've only got two left on it. That's not looking too superb, that's often. But that bottom one's alright. I took about six. I think five or six off these the other apples, week. Uh, Laxton's superb, then ones are. But they're not. They're not the same. On the picture, they look similar. Though that's what that's what's confused me on that picture of them. Yeah. They look very much like yours, then. So yeah, that's what we've been up to. Not mine, but yours. Yeah. <laughs> Ying Yang Farm. So yeah, we're going to be uh, cracking on this week, doing some weeding, getting some stuff sorted out. I'll get myself down and. Um, and do a bit because it's Friday tomorrow work is completed 
at four o'clock for Hardy. No matter what happens, it's going to be sorted. I'm going to just leave it behind, leave it at home, leave it at work rather, leave work at work, and then come down here and get stuck in this weekend because uh, I've got to um, hopefully temporarily I've got to cover that up. Uh, I won't go into the reasons why, but I've got to cover that up temporarily until it gets the official permission, which I should have uh, got before I put it in. And uh, I do apologise to anybody watching this uh, for that. <laughs> he's not the Messiah! He's a very naughty boy! Um, so yeah, it's, and the rules are rules, and that's what keeps everything together on these plots and keeps everything nice and, and everything. Um, I must admit, I did think I'd uh, put it in originally on the original plan when I did uh, what I did for the, the patio and a few other th items, but I didn't. So that's going to get covered or filled or something like that until I get the official permission. Then hopefully it, it, it'll be accepted. It'll probably need to be amended in somewhere um, for safety reasons. But I'll um, I'll inquire further about that, and then um, we should be seeing the ladies again probably in. September. But yeah, I've got to sort that out this weekend and cover that over. So yeah, there we go. That was a bit. That was the update. And as I say, I'm uh, sorry for not coming down this week. I think the last time I came on and put an upload on was probably last Wednesday or something like that. And it's only because um, I've had loads and loads of work. I've been working all weekend. I logged off half past half past one on Monday. Half past two on one on Monday morning. I was up at four o'clock on Tuesday morning. Before the lads got up, before I went into work, doing a bit on the computer. It's just hectic. We're short-handed, very short-handed. 